Please explain, uh, Mr. Manap, what do you mean by religion and politics here? Can you explain? You said religion cannot be kept out of politics. What do you mean exactly? So I see that as a Muslim, Islam is a way of life. It encompasses every aspect of life. That's what I meant that I, we, me as a Muslim, I can't separate the two entities of politics and religion. I, I hope I make it clear. So every aspect of life would include politics, right? Isn't that the natural conclusion? You just said every aspect of life must be covered by religion. So that would include politics. Yes, I did say that. Thank you. Yep. So if a religious leader, a Muslim religious leader, comes out and says Islam covers all aspects of life, and therefore Muslims must vote for Muslims, I suppose that follows, doesn't it, based on your position? I disagree with that because I did mention in my speech that you shouldn't use religion for the benefit of politics. It's clearly stated in my speech. And uh, if someone were to say religion cannot be separated from politics and it covers all aspects of life, and therefore it should impact on policy formulation as well, government's policy formulation, it must follow from what you say that that comes true, surely. So I believe in terms of the policies that are actually related to religion, right? Currently, what we are discussing about, even the minister had to consult the religious group, right? So there is an element of, especially in these policies, the element of uh, intertwine between politics and religion, which cannot be separated. Mr. Manap, you know, in this clarification and discussion, I don't think we are going anywhere because we are going around in circles. Either your words mean something, A, or B. Do you believe, I ask you for the final time, religion and politics should be kept separate? A simple answer would do. Yes, Mr. Abdelmanap. So when uh, Mr. Six clarification, based on my speech, not focusing on one particular, particular issue that is asking right now. So forget my about, speech uh, Forget about that, that particular part. Just asking you, do you believe that religion should be kept separate from politics? Sir, to cut it short, can you please refer to the Hansard, no. the, the speech that I've delivered? I, Thank you. I think I'm asking you, would you be prepared to answer honestly? Do you believe religion should be kept separate from politics? I do not wish to be engaged in such uh, debate, because as I mentioned just now, it's clearly stated in my speech. I believe that you're not, you, your clarification minister is to direct, it's directed to my speech. And I've clearly mentioned in my speech, my stand as a Muslim, which I see Islam as a way, is a way of life, and it encompasses every aspect of life, including politics. Mr. Manap, I'm entitled to ask you, based on that, a further clarification, do you believe that religion should be kept separate from politics in Singapore. Uh, Minister, I think Mr. Pritam Singh wants to answer something. But perhaps Mr. Manap can be given a final opportunity to answer the question I just asked. Mr. Manap, do you want to? Sir, can, can the Minister repeat again? Just want to clear, clear, have a clarity. Would you agree that religion should be kept separate from politics in Singapore? I do agree that religion needs to be kept aside or apart from politics so that religion won't be used to gain personal benefit or the benefit of political, any political party. I think Mr. Manap has answered the question. Mr. Pritam Singh? Was, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, I was uh, attempting to intervene to just make clear what the position has to be in Singapore as a minority MP for any party. You represent not just um, members of your own community, you represent members of other faiths. And I think the only way to move forward is to accept that there has to be a certain degree of 
understanding towards other faiths and, and, and move forward in a, a, a way which accepts that we must be mindful of introducing religion into politics. I think where Mr. Manab is coming from is, is his faith. And in his faith, it's a, it's a value system. I believe the Christian faith is similar. Uh, but I think ultimately for a member of parliament or for any political party in Singapore, I think it's important that you remember that you have to represent the interests of every community, not just yours. I ask you for the final time. Religion and politics should be kept separate. Do you believe that religion should be kept separate from politics? Do you believe religion should be kept separate from politics? Do you believe that religion should be kept separate from politics? Would you agree that religion should be kept separate from politics in Singapore?